Okay, so now let's move on to paper two. Um, I'm going to explain the s modules to you, and uh, then we are going to go ahead to understand this paper two as well. So for paper two, as you can see on the board, you have again 250 marks because management as an optional subject is for 500 marks. So the second paper is for paper for 250 marks. The time devoted is three hours and eight questions are standard questions are mentioned in your question paper and you have to attempt any five question number one and question number five are compulsory questions here al also in paper two just like in paper one otherwise the, uh, the other questions that are there you can make a choice you have to just make sure that from both the section at least one question is selected uh, for the, the choice that you are making right So the first subject that we have students in paper two is your quantitative techniques in decision making. Students even call it as statistics. So this is basically a statistics part of paper two. What happens is the, co the concept that here asked are very much in alignment to the statistics or the, the 11th class commer uh, the economics portion that uh, 12th portion that you have covered. So the concepts here are regarding the uh, numericals, basically. You have introduction to probability, then you have probability distribution, then you have central limit theorem, hypothesis testing, that is asked. Chi-square, regression, regression testing is there. Then you have time series and forecasting, decision theory, then you have linear programming, right? The, there, there are questions regarding linear programming. Um, sometimes if the paper is little like uh, complex that time certain part of this particular module is in included otherwise many a time the factual questions are usually asked the traditional topics right so that's about the subject then you have the most the, the second module of paper 2 and students this is considered as the most lengthy module or the most lengthy subject in your entire management sub, uh, subject optional. Uh, although it is lengthy, but when the, the way you are attempting your answer, the way you are including the real life based example, it is very much easy for you to cover this module as well. So the majorly as per the trend that you that has been um, there in uh, the previous year UPSC management optional the questions of supply chain management, Six Sigma inventory control have definitely been there. Otherwise, regarding the e-environment situation, waste management or other things regarding a business organization working for the environment, such questions are also asked. So you are very easily able to frame the answer when it comes to this particular subject. You, you know, the, the you have you actually get a good wavelength, you know, the, the kind of attempt that you are making in this subject or this particular module becomes very very easy for you once you have covered all these topics. Then you have strategic cost management. It is a, one of the easy uh, topics and it does not even take much more than seven days for completion. For strategic cost management there are strategic planning and implementation, SWOT analysis, then you have BCG matrix that has been asked, GEC module strategic profile of a firm, then you have competitive advantage of a firm that has been asked for sure. There are core com uh, concept of core competence, turnaround management, management of strategic change, strategy and corporate evolution in the Indian context. So this, these are particular topics that have been asked in this subject. What happens is that once you are preparing for your GS or your other uh, current affairs, you are very much able to answer this particular module. And sometimes there's one numerical based upon uh, cost, uh, uh, you know, cost accounting, but that is also uh, rarely asked. The it completely like that is something that's one of the more important, most important numerical, if I can say. Otherwise, for other uh, numericals, the other subjects that we just discussed earlier, numericals are only asked from those subjects. Then you have international business, and as per the current scenario and the way India has been 
playing a major role in the development you know of the entire business module of the world this particular subject has become one of the favorite for the examiners while framing a question so in ib or international business international trade foreign trade policies the organizations that are working internationally to monitor the business a uh, certain um, uh, aspect of th those things are asked and this subject actually becomes if you have taken management as an optional this particular module or subject becomes very much a uh, topic of discussion when you are going for the interview so as per the recent trends also in upsc management optional many questions have been asked uh, from this particular module or subject then you have ftas you have international taxation global e business go global competitive competitiveness then you have multicultural management foreign direct investment country risk analysis uh, the recent in uh, when when it was the news of when brexit was very much there so the direct question was asked where they asked you the pros and cons of brexit so somebody who has been very well versed with this particular you know syllabus and who's also very much sure about the uh, brexit that has the details about the brexit he or she will be able to frame a an answer in a much more easy way as compared to somebody who has just done the factual uh, completion right then you have government business interface with government uh, of india uh, you know having several there are several several organization today that have been uh, started where who which are working towards india's uh, boosting the india india's economy this particular uh, module becomes also important and also when you are doing your current affairs and you are doing your other gs papers so majority of the contents regarding this particular module or subject are covered in that and this particular module does not even take more than 7 days for you to complete because definitely if a student has a good idea or has a good hold on the current ca or current affairs on and other gs topics he or she will be able to complete this module very easily because as you can see topics like state participation or india's participation in the business world today government's policies consumer protection act the legal uh, concept of how a consumer is actually uh, you know safeguarded in the world market comes in into a big uh, topic of discussion then you have liberalization deregularization privatization responsibilities of business as well as of the business as well as the government to protect the environment then you have in this particular dean and h cyber laws question regarding that corporate governance are asked now we come to the next module or sub subject for today that is in paper 2 we have mis or management information system so basically what happens is here in this particular module the concept of it that is information technology is integrated with the managerial concepts so it the questions that are asked are basically related to the information resource management or information theory and then development of the management life cycle then expert system e business dss rb dss dbms that is relational database management then you have e governance e governance you were even covered in your previous module and then you have information system user involvement evolution of the information system so the questions that are asked here are very much direct and the complication part of this particular module is not definitely there you have to just go through these mod the, the topics in these module and you can easily cover this subject of mis then the strategy will be the same that you are going to follow in paper 2 as well majorly students what happens is to, many students feel that paper 2 is much more complicated than paper 1 the point here is that yes the the subject difference is there but when you are doing the right strategy even for the paper 2 it is as simple as the paper 1 that you are attempting so don't consider it as a complicated subject for you because even if even if you are as like i just told you from a non commerce background you can come easily secure good marks in this paper 2 as well so beginning with an understanding of the syllabus is very very important because 
once you get an understanding of the syllabus you are going to be well versed with the kind of topics that you are going to be studying then the detailed completion of syllabus has to be there for sure you can use the approach that you want to follow here then you can begin with the comprehensive and answer writing and completion of each module make sure you are not just completing the modules and you are just not like waiting for the last moment for you to start the answer writing practice please as soon as your one module gets complete start writing start att attempting as much answer as much you can because once you have create completed you know once you have completed your module and once you have even practiced your answers you're going to yourself get, gain a com confidence you know before moving to the next module so it will be like this is something that you have completed and you have done all you have to do is when your optional uh, paper up comes you just have to revise and re-revise the concept many times you must have heard also toppers and all the students who have you know actually cleared this exam they emphasize on the re-revision so even i can't stress enough about the fact that you don't have to go to n number of sources for completion you just have to stick to the roots of completion of the subject even in management and you can just with the right approach right answer writing the framing of your answer you can easily secure good marks then there are there is definitely a review analysis that is to be done this is super important once you have completed your answer writing practice because definitely all the areas of development will be identified in the last part of this strategy right so this is the same strategy that you are going to follow for paper 2 as well now let's start discussing the previous year question trend analysis for paper 2 if you can see here definitely the questions are very much moderate to difficult depending upon the kind of practice that you have done for some students all these questions would be uh, categorized as moderate questions but of course there are different students from different backgrounds so of course moderate and difficult level questions are there here then the first question that i have uh, taken here for today's discussion is the contribution of expert system with respect to management of covid pandemic this is from your mis or management of information system topic right this expert system that uh, the, as a topic there they have related or integrated it with the covid pandemic situation so of course there is a way you are going to attempt this answer just not writing about the expert system is not enough you have to put on certain details of understanding that how you are going to relate an expert system to the management of covid pandemic right then the second question here is where they have asked you to distinguish between the foreign direct investment and foreign portfolio investment you have they have even asked you along with that to examine the existing policies adopted by the government of india for attracting foreign direct investment so you have to make sure that the answer here that you are writing is very much in alignment to the recent uh, concepts of how the government of india is playing a very very important role right in the foreign direct investment or the foreign market today so being very much aware about the current affairs being very much about the different organizational or the different uh, ventures of the government of india they have, which have been towards this progressive approach are very much required here then the third question here is to explain the detailed responsibility of business as well as government with regards to environment protection i also mentioned it to you that as per the current scenario certain topics are very much in demand so environment protection certain topics regard so environment protection along with the business and government is very much asked you can uh, frame your answer in context of both government as well as the business right then the fourth question that has been asked in the year 2020 was to describe the machinery available for the redressal of the grievances of the cons consumers under the latest consumer protection act so this is the concept of consumer protection act is definitely there and they have asked you to describe the machinery available for the redressal grievances so here your answer will be very much in context to the consumer protection act along with the explanation of the functioning of machinery right 
Then the fifth question has been asked from the supply chain management strategies that were ab uh, adopted by leading e-commerce companies, right? Amazon and Flipkart during lockdown or Corona pandemic. So of course, a moderate question that was asked in the year 2021. So the so supply chain management strategies is very much integrated to the strategic approach of any organization, especially the e-commerce companies, right? Then the sixth question here that has been asked a numerical based question, you have to attempt it and it's a securing question, it's a scoring question for you. Then you have Fisher's ideal index that was asked and why it is called ideal. It's a little direct question, but of course, since they have asked you to uh, put on little more details and add on little more de details, then the eighth question here is in the year 2021 was to um, discuss about the pros and cons of Brexit, a moderate question. Then a MIS question from knowledge based expert system was asked in the year 2020 and uh, 2022, sorry. And in the, t uh, the tenth question that I have mentioned here is regarding a numerical that was asked from the, uh, from the topic of, of the paper too. So if you can see here students, this is very much there in context of your paper to the questions that have that has been asked. All you have to do is again do a lot of answer writing practice for completion of this question. For numericals also as much application based questions because they are very direct. There is many times the numerical questions are repeated. So as many times as you are create you know repeating those questions, practicing them, you are going to get an upper hand in terms of attempting these questions and paper too as well. The books that, uh, reference books that you can go ahead and uh, choose are, these are certain standard books that have been referred by a lot of uh, toppers and the teacher faculty expert. For paper one, the, the first, for the first module, you have a book of principles of managed by Harold Koontz. Then you have for OB, there are many books, but it is mostly about by the Stephen Robbins. Robbins' book is very much uh, considered popular among students. For HRM, you have Ashwathapa. This is also one of the very popular books among students when it comes to HRM. For accounting for managers, there is no particular book. Uh, I would say you have to focus on the notes made and the kind of practice you have for the numericals. Okay? The practice of numericals is very much important here. So as much as application-based questions you have practiced, you can easily cover this topic. For sure, in the fifth uh, module, that is financial management, there is a book called Braille by Braille Myers. But again, the practice of, um, practice of numericals is important here as well. Then in the sixth part, you have marketing management. There's a book by Philip Kotler that is again as popular as Ashwith Hapa and Coons and the other, other book Robbins. So these are the standard books that are basically considered for paper one. For paper two, if we talk about, then you, since it's a stat, the, the concept are related to statistics. So here you have a book by Pearson, right? You can go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, start practicing questions from there. For POM or for production of operations management, you have a book by SN Chari. Then you have, for MIS, you have, there is no particular book required. What you can do is you can do a note making practice here. For different different topics that are there in your syllabus, you can make short notes. Then for government business interface, there is no book in particular. All you have to do is be very thorough with your GA. We have to be very aware, very much aware with the government different ventures that are coming up in the current uh, uh, affairs. And with the topics that are there, you can just complete this module as well. Then for the fifth one, you have strategic management. There's a book called Competitive Strategy by Michael Porter. You can consider that book. And for IB, I would recommend IB or International Business by Mr. Arun Jain. You can go ahead and choose that book and you can start your preparations. So uh, this was a brief discussion about the strategy for the management optional subject. I'm going to even uh, start with the paper analysis of the previous uh, five years paper. And we are going to go ahead and discuss those previous five years papers so that you get a li little more idea about the how your syllabus is very much aligned with the previous year questions that are asked. 
so i'm going to even explain it to you that and we are going to go ahead and discuss each question from the past year papers so that you get a more idea and you get a more much more clarity about the concept that you are going to study and how you can develop a good strategy and focus and you know be very very confined when it comes to the preparation of management as an optional subject um okay uh, so thank you for all of you present here today any questions in particular that you want to ask you can go ahead and ask your questions <laughs>